Hello everyone, I'm Hopeful Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as the Empire of the Mojave. So, uh, let's just address a few comments first. Yes, the new California Republic, well, I guess it's literally the NCR now, um, was a sh shady sand republic, but now that the NCR is a puppet of us. Now, I had to do a few things, most notably just use console commands to get the NCR to get through this focus first. Um, because we defeated the Scorpions and I released the Shady Sands Republic, I had to use console commands to manually make sure that they could do this focus, because to do this focus, they need to take the Scorpions out and actually own this land, but I don't want to really give it to the NCR. I'll be honest with you, I really don't. It's my land, I got it fair and square, so I just let them complete the focus, and I kind of want to see how they react under me. They're not independent whatsoever, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't want to see what happens, but we, we're not done with our focus tree just yet. Our tree, we're getting close. We want to serve you, or we want you to serve, but we're not quite done with our focuses, and we still need to take out the Phoenix Republic. So that being said, we will go to war with Twisted Hair soon enough. And the main comment from yesterday that I will address here is, why don't we build infrastructure in places I can't even reach or really use? Well, it's because people run out of work, you know, people need jobs, people need, you know, stuff to do, so I give them things to do, which includes building up infrastructure where we currently don't need it. Maybe eventually we might need it. I don't know. Besides, I run out of things to build. I mean, I could build air bases everywhere if you really want me to. I could build a ton of air bases, but uh, that doesn't really do anything. By building infrastructure, it makes me feel better, which is whatever. It is what it is, what it is you know? Cool, we got a good amount of manpower right now. We currently are doing okay with pacifying some of these areas. Sky Reavers, you cost me a bit too much. Sporadic Outposts are where it's at. And eventually, I do want to core some of the Sky Reaver territory boomer stuff. But I really want to go to war with these guys to see what we can do. I don't think I'll be able to navally invade. They're probably a little bit too strong. Hopefully, when we go to war with the Twisted Hairs, they'll attack me and weaken themselves first. That's kind of the plan, but we'll see what happens. But I'm really, really interested in the NCR right now. Led by Richard Caldwell. The Race for the Hill. With Peterson gone, the race for the life, or the title of the president, is on. Very nice. And they're going to go with a diplomat. Yinta Yampa. Cool. T Tandy Incarnate. That's cool. Northwards Treaty, Southwards Treaty. Great, we can go to war. Oh, dealings with the glow. Boneyard talks. I think so. Yes, yes, yes. We might actually make it a goal of ours to get all available territories that are supposed to be in the state of California under the NCR. That would be kind of interesting, honestly. That'd be really, really cool. What are we missing? Oh, close, oh, we're missing close air support? What? Never. Never. Cool, do something like that. You can get some more, but you are much more important right now. Uh, do that too. Basic weaponry is looking very nice. And let's go to war, see what happens. They shouldn't have an alien base, but we'll see what happens. Cool, and that's exactly what I want. Let them beat themselves up on me. You know what? Send happy guys this way. Good. Weaken the enemy. We got we've got time, so. Especially since I want to see the NCR build themselves up. Next though, who are we gonna go to war with? 80s are looking pretty mighty. Timekeepers seem pretty interesting. Tar walkers seem very interesting to take out. Now how much manpower do they have? It looks like they have a lot of resistance. Now we do too. We need manpower to solve that. But this might be a very, very good opportunity for Allison Kemper to attack the Tar Walkers. Which will probably turn out to be a very bad thing. But maybe we'll go to war with the Sorrows first. Mm. Or yeah, let's take out the Western Grand Canyon, maybe. We only need half of you guys, probably, to do this. Yes, yes, yes. The couriers are a little bit violent from time to time, but you know what? It's it's warranted violence, you know? I'm sure as a courier you get frustrated, and having the couriers lash out in a safe, land-grabbing way is good for everyone in the waste, except for those who die. Just saying. I don't know. Something like that. We want you to serve, my friends. Serve, it's good for you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Introduction of advanced ranger armor. Our current rangers have several shortcomings when going against foes with high-powered weaponry. However, 
If we were to utilize the more complica complex designs that we discovered within the Hopeville Police Department, we could increase the beating our suits can take. I love beatings. Alright, so we can't win here yet. Yeah, I should really get some APCs next. Uh, cool. Oh. Evander. Well, you're only a general, so that wouldn't really make too much sense for us to do. You guys are taking a beating, which is fine. Uh, oh, now they're attacking us a little bit more crazily, which is cool. You know what? Send two of you guys here. And then tell them to come back. So, we've lost 20 guys versus 443 guys versus 500. That's not bad. You know what? Hold. Hold for now. Let's start justifying on these guys. Cool. The NCR shooting go to war with too many people, but we'll see what happens. The Phoenix Republic is a country we definitely want to take up, but they're looking pretty large. That's probably going to be the end game boss for us. Probably. Probably. Simple circuitry, very good. Let's go start doing some more of this. Uh, that's really hard to get down here. It takes so long to get down here, especially with only two research slots, but we're going to do it regardless. Alright, so they stopped attacking. How much manpower do these guys have? That's a good question to ask, actually. That's a very good question to ask. We're doing well down there. Good. As they continue to attack us, we're going to get more army XP and more XP for our divisions, which is a very, very good thing. Uh, the quick... Well, maybe not necessarily a quick way to do it, but a good way to get more XP for our guys. Oh, another Spec Ops division. Great. Look at that. Mm. I mean, there's really no point to just kill them off right now, since we have to wait for these guys anyways. Our armies are good enough to just kind of move around. So, overall, we're doing very well with supply, maybe except for close air support, which makes sense. Division-wise, we're using militia forces. We definitely need military police, but mm, I don't know. Let's see. Do, are we making any robots? No, we don't have any robots. Disappointing. Occupy territories. Wasteland pacification. Sporadic outpost is very good. Ah, Deathclaw ferocity. We are done with our la land doctrine, my friends. We are done with it. We can wait on that a little bit longer. Uh, we can do both of these at the same time. Just because I want to get some motorized guys. Maybe, eventually. Yeah, I guess we'll get a few maybe motorized guys. I don't know, see what happens. Maybe I won't. Let's see what happens. Rangers lead the way. I don't like this necessarily, because it does lower our infantry attack and defense. But it doesn't give us more cap. We'll save this one a little bit for later. But maybe, maybe, we should secure our borders. We are living within the confines of a military base such as pre-war pillboxes and outposts that are scattered across our lands. That... So basically... We have no choice but to refurbish and rebuild these defenses to ensure that we are capable of defending our home. I love these run-on sentences. I love them. Just run on, run on, run on. That's not a lot of uh, manpower. It's not really worth it. This is worth it. That is worth it. Then we can maybe start coming up here, maybe? I mean, it costs so much to pour all this stuff. We can only get 1.46 political power a day. Of course, we are at war, so that only makes sense. Uh, you guys can probably stand back a little further. Let half you guys go bye bye. Let him attack us. Good. And another division. Glorious. Very nice. Surprised they want to attack us this hard. Or this harshly, we'll say. Now, NCR, what are you doing? Lost Hills Bunker. No national focus is set. So they're going down the Southwards Treaty. Dealings with the Glow. Ties that bind. Dockyards of Honor. Industrial Pact. Oh, Hearts of the Wastes. Cool. Very cool. Old World Glory. Wow, plus 12%. This looks like a fun nation to play at some time. Very cool. Alright, these guys are looking a lacking. I want to bait them in just a little bit more. These guys are taking nice little walks. It's good to get walks in every day, my friends. I take walk. Take, try to take walk every day. And now they're done. Oh, well, no, maybe not. What if I said, come to Vault 3? Come to the exploration place that is Vault 3 for now. And they did nothing. Cool. If that's the case... Actually, how much? How many more days do we have here? Until we go to war with them. Uh, We're going to wait till we go to war with those guys, finish them off, and then we're going to try to attack. All but one is going to stay. Good. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. And they're not taking the bait. Cool. Even these guys are not taking the bait too much. But if I were to try to attack now, it wouldn't go very well for us. So let's go ahead and do Authorized Weapon Workshops. Our 
industri- or, ugh, I can't speak. Our military industrial capabilities are meager and to be honest, pathetic. So as such, we must begin immediate construction of weapon workshops. You know, I didn't even move and they started attacking me. Very cool. Now, are they mobilizing any more? They might be six finger production lines. They're getting a little bit more manpower, which is okay. I just want to go to war with the Grand Canyon people first. Man, yeah, that is nothing. The glow. Oh yeah, we still want to core all this territory down here too. Oh, there we go, good. Can we kill them off immediately? We should be able to. I mean, they have enforcers, but I don't think they should be able to stand up to us. I think we have anti-tank, right? Oh, I guess we're only 18 combat width? Yeah, we do have anti-tank. What am I even doing? Demo teams would give you just a little bit more breakthrough. Not honestly any more than what we already have. <sighs> honestly, this, this is still better to do. That is just better to do overall. Phoenix Republic, declare war on cowboy country. Very nice, very nice. I gotta do that. Nice. Very good, my friends. Very good. Take a good look at resistance. Look at that manpower. Getting better and better. Boomers. This can wait a little bit. And they're gone. Flop, flop. Next up. Sorrows could be cool. Tar walkers are... Ooh, the tar walkers are pretty tough. I hope we declared war on the hub. Or the boneyard. What, what is the MTR doing first? Before we do anything else. Baron's cooperation. Trade reading. Diplomatic efforts, huh? Do they have a focus down here as well? No? How do they unite California then? Eyes on the prize? Arm the Republic? I don't know. Maybe they can't. I really don't know. Huh. Well, regardless, we'll just give it to them then. Boneyard, how strong are these guys? 2,000. That's a lot of divisions. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of divisions. Regardless, let's just go here first. Buddy up over there. 80s. We could get another puppet. The Jackals, that's kinda weird to see, not gonna lie. New Reno's looking pretty large, huh? That's pretty big. Hmm. Thinking here, thinking. Maybe just the Sorrows, because we want to finish this war up quickly. Go to war with those guys, perhaps. Cool. Now get rid of them. Ooh, maybe you can't get rid of them immediately. Uh, Airplane-wise... Hold on, where's our planes? Army 2 Lime... Uh, you do it over here. That's what you want to do. Tire profile, very cool, very cool. Uh, let's keep focusing on at least one other thing at the same time. Research speed, thank you. Now, we can't exactly win here, but it's better to fight here than across the water. I really don't think we'd be able to win here at all. So, I, I'm not going to risk that. Weapon workshops, very cool. Uh, rebuild Ashen's military industry. Scattered across Ashen are remnants of the decadent and collapsing military facilities, but a handful of them are still in repairable condition. Now, they're out of manpower, which is good for us, but we're going to be losing quite a few guys to do this. But they've already lost 3,800, which is pretty darn good. Not going to lie, pretty darn good. Throw them in, throw them in. NCR, please tell me that you got a plan to unite all the former California under you. Ooh, there goes... They're looking pretty big. Cult of Roswell, you took out this Red Sun Republic? Holy cow. Oh, they're still attacking me. Nice, cool. Yeah, keep it up, guys. These guys, they must be on, like, last stand, because usually we see them... Yeah, there they go. Now they're starting to retreat, but even then... That seems a little odd. Seems just a little too odd. We want a ton of these guys. All right, 10 signs. Very nice, very nice. They, they're probably mobilizing a little bit more right now. 17 divisions. Uh, we don't really have full intel on them, which makes sense. They still have no manpower. So, hey, we actually beat them out there. Great. And we overran a few divisions. We've lost, well, 
Less than I thought we would. And you might as well go up now, too. Now there's less divisions there. They're still trying to attack us. We're going to win here pretty easily. Which is a good thing. Oh, ranchers, tents off. Everyone's beating up on those ten signs. Wow. And soon we'll have this. Dry wells. So I guess the scope of the campaign now is to see how far we can get to unite all of California under our puppet. I think that'd be a good goal. Evander, urban assaults expert. Yes, please, my friend. Good job, guys. Now we have another place to pacify. I'm going to send you guys here to bait these enemies into attacking us again. And then... Hmm, how big are these guys? The Phoenix Republic. That's a lot of manpower. A lot of divisions. The longer we wait, the stronger they get. So we'll wait a little bit longer. Rebuild Hopeville's military industry. Hopeville, although being the civilian sector of the Divide, did have limited military industries, of which some are still in repairable condition. Yes. All right, so here, what are we going to do? I really want to expand the NCR. Baron's Republic, how strong are you? That's a lot of strength. Okay. You guys. That's a lot of strength. Hmm. We really don't have that many options. I'm thinking the Boneyard's probably the way to go, though. Because we only have one front against them. You know what? We're going to go to war with the Boneyard yet. Next, then. So be it. No matter what these guys want... It's boneyard time. Well, after the, this. Yeah, you, you have nothing around here. Boneyard glow, boneyard talks. You're going to have that territory whether you like it or not. I have... Well, I might need a few more divisions than this. Okay. That makes more sense, yeah. Wartime stuff. Weekly war support. Eh, we have a good amount already. It, this is almost nothing. It's not even worth doing that, but whatever. Plating add-on. Good. Go, cool, let's go to war. And they immediately attack me down here. Cool. Now we're going to let them do that. Hopefully we can do the same type of idea down here. We've got enough guys to help hold the line. That's probably the most important thing. All right, you guys are all pretty well trained. How many divisions do they have? Do they have any allies? No, they have military access. That's that's a lot of guys, but nothing too overwhelming. Actually, how big is a navy of theirs? Well, it's a lot bigger than mine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and maybe it would be a good idea to stop doing this for now. Yeah, actually, you, you guys can do that. There you go. Up and out, destroy some of the sorrows. Zion. Uh, you know what? You can throw some more rangers down there, too. Up and out, Evander. I'm really trying to level them up, apparently. Level 3, almost level 4. Good stuff. How's the field marshal? Horus, are you learning anything? Melee hacker. That's good. He's strong. I like that. Complicated circuitry is really good. Let's get some re reinforce rate. We've lost 73 guys versus 1,000 so far. Throw in some more of these guys. Awesome. I don't know why they, they like this tile so much. This is going to ruin relations between the Bone Yard and the NCR. Oh, no. What do you mean demand territory, you bunch of jerks? Hmm, interesting. How many days do we have? Nine. That should be enough time for us to get up there. Hopefully. Cool. Defense in depth? Uh, sure, why not? So, it's no secret that we... It's no, it is no secret that if we were to go to war against a superior foe, we would be pushed back. But, we can use this to our advantage and use the Divide's terrain against our foes. Well, we're a little bit beyond the Divide right now, my friends. Just a little bit. How many more days we got? Seven? Oh, yeah, we'll be there. What territory do you have? Area 6 is not your territory, my son. And for all that, you must pay. I definitely want to cover that. Getting more manpower back. Great. We almost have a positive amount of stuff there. Great. Now, they're going to hit us pretty hard, probably, because... Well, actually, they have a lot of militia divisions. Yeah, a lot of militia that are pretty thick. 
pretty thicky. Don't let him win, my friends. Don't let him win. Well, we're going to declare war. And we're going to suffer a little bit here. We're definitely going to suffer a little bit. We've got nothing else we can do for now. Because I need all these soldiers here for now. Oh. Oh, yeah, they can go to war with us anytime now. Send infantry division this way. Yeah, they are a little crazy. They can't have that much manpower. Holy, oh, holy war, they went to war with us. Yeah, they're out. Cool. You know what? NCR, you can probably defend your own lands for now. Cool. Go and help them out for now. Yeah, some of these tiles, they can't hold out. That will be fine, probably. Just don't get encircled, man. Wait, no, 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 no. What are you... Wh why? Why? I, I specifically clicked this. I specifically clicked it. Come on, game. Come on, man. Okay, well, obviously I'm not going to go to War of the Boneyard yet. <laughs> losses. Yeah, you, you're going to suffer a lot of losses. I don't even know if they can keep up with those types of losses. But maybe they can. That's pretty... Some big losses there, my son. But you know what? You deserve it. Hold. Defend the line. Just hold for now. Uh, send one of you guys that way, too. Ah, Allison Kemper. Cunning Desert Fox, you're getting so many terrain traits. You're so good. Oh, uh, yes. Try it again. Try it again. Now, I can't attack into here until they are done. Wasting their manpower against us. Ah, uh, Allison Kemper. Any more traits? No, not yet. Cool. Very good, very good. Take your time, take your time. I'm glad I didn't call my puppet in, because that would pretty much spell the end of us. Or at least the end of them. Very good. Delightful, as some might say. And Allison is wounded. Oh well, she'll come back. Probably. She'll probably come back. My goodness. Wow, they're having a real problem over here. Defense in depth, I like it. Incorporate pre-war doctrine. Although our soldiers are extremely capable, our officers lack the capabilities to lead long-term campaigns as such, though we must begin incorporating some pre-war doctrines. No, 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 no. Oh, are you coming back in? Yeah, you get, get your butts in there. Good. They've already lost... Quite a few guys. 3,000? Jeez. That's a lot. That's quite a bit, actually. Scrap gun trucks. We can make some APCs if we want now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get some flamethrowers. That sounds like fun. It could really help our soft attack. Oh, they actually beat us there. You know, so be it. So be it. Every piece of territory they get co is costing them so much. They're almost out of manpower at this point. Which is great. Yeah, and you can help beat him back. And we're gonna go back and forth with each other for a while here. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate for you. Twin mothers declared we're on the reservation. That's kinda cool. Cool. The less resistance, the better. You want to do stuff like this still? You still want to do this? You still want to play games like this? Great, now they keep doing that over there. I mean, you're just going to lose thousands of... Well, they've already lost thousands of men. Forgers, reservationists. Very good, very good. Someone's going to have to give, and it isn't going to be me. They love attacking. Alright, I mean, if you want to do that, keep doing it. I really don't know why. Well, I don't know why the AI uses militia so much. Doesn't make any sense, but that's okay with me. That's definitely okay. She's becoming a mountaineer now. She's level 8. Awesome. She's really good with planning, though. Really, really good with planning. Son, you really want, don't want to live, do you? 
you can try to take that tile, but this tile is going to be bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what would be great if we could do an encirclement here, but. Great! We're back up. And even though we're going to lose this tile, too. Which is okay, because we're going to do this. Quite the tug of war, my friends. Quite the tug of war. Well, for now, I'll throw you on there, too. Could we went here after you do that? Do we not have... Oh, planes. Nice. I'll use you guys. We'll finish off this war first over here. Come on, deploy faster. Deploy faster. No, you can't win. That's really disappointing. I'm really disappointed in you all. So be it. If that's the case, here's what I'm going to do. Happy guys are going to join them. Happy guys are going to come over here. You have to deal with less. Incorporate pre-war doctrines. Uh, we shall do next. Clearing the rubble. So, Ashton and Hopeville have suffered from centuries of high-intensity dust storms, which has made clutter around Route 95. We must repair this rubble to ensure a safe route into the Mojave. Good. So, they, it seems like they've really stopped attacking nearly as much, which is, you know, okay. You guys get up here. I don't know where they're going to be, so. That'll be okay. Throw that extra division down there. You guys, bait them in if you can. I mean, come on. You really don't want to do anything, do you? Cool. All right. Oh, spec ops. Cool. Then I'll throw you right there. And then throw you right there. Cool. Awesome. Was it worth it so far, 80s? Um, did you just clear one of the tar walkers? Seriously? Wow, that is unexpected. That is actually really unexpected. Yeah, I guess somewhat, but not really somewhat, just because they are using... They did go to the focus Holy War, so that actually does make some sense. Uh, you know what? Maybe grab a few more military factors here and there. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. And let's see. War score, 94%. I have to keep that in mind. Where are you going? Where are you going, son? Are you having problems on the other front? Oh, that's too bad. That's just too bad. Oh, no. You're gonna die now because you chose to fight me only. Ah, I see now. I'm calling you in. Hades. Eh, I call them in both. Cool. And go to signals. Let's get some better reinforce rate. Now, since these guys could win pretty easily. I don't believe that. Especially here. I really don't believe that. I don't believe you. Try plane attackers. Good. Very nice. Well, it's the only three of them for now, but that's okay. And... Darn, I couldn't see. So, I'm going to split this up a little bit with the uh, tar walkers. They can get vermilion cliffs or something like that. There you go. And there you go. More territory that, that they probably didn't even deserve, really, but that's okay. Cool. You guys are going to have a great time killing these fellas off. And go that way. Encirclement time! Ooh, Horus. Finally, you have something you can do. Uh, mm, just recovery rate. That's fine. Evander has nothing. Nothing over there. That's fine. You know, whatever. And we're almost there and ready to go. Why did you stop attacking, guys? Why did you stop? Okay, what the hell? I did not I did not click on everyone there. Come on, come on. That's all you need. That's all you need. To encircle five enemy divisions or more. Oh what? You can't stop me. You cannot stop the progress of civilization. Of courier civilization. Come on. Uh, just hold for now. We really need this group to win here. Even though there are eight divisions, we should see, still be able to win here. That's the only tile that we really need here. Clearing the rubble, great. 
and spread the word. Hopeville is slowly becoming even more prosperous, and it is time to spread the word of our new lands to ensure a steady arrival of new faces, more population, and more monthly population. I love it. Come on, don't let it drop. Great, you've done it, my friends. You've done it. Now let them starve and die. Let's get everyone to organize first. Very good. Ah, if you guys are overran, that's awesome. You guys do that, you guys do that. Ah, uh, someone gotta take up Old Bishop. Washington Brotherhood, Troll Warren. Great! Look at that. And they're dead. Casualties are kinda high. There's 9,200 that we've done, and the NCR has done 6. Interesting. I'm, I'm spying. Something potentially very good right here. Actually, I want to do it with the U leading the charge. So we can spearhead this way. That would be very bueno. Area 6. I want to core you next. That population's pretty good. It doesn't cost an extreme amount, which is good. Since we're mostly done with this, yeah, I can do a few things here and there, but... Eh. I could raise my conscription level. What is NCR up to, though? And... Power to the people. That's cool. At least we're in a defensive war. So, go that way. Follow it up with... I'm going to get rid of those guys eventually, but go there. And then... Go there. That's all you need. That's all you really need, man. Give them some force attack to make them even hit even harder, which would be awesome. And then everyone's going to react to that. Once our soldiers are here, we got some high pressure. We're going to grab some incinerators, too. Do our spec ops have... They do have demo teams. Very good. 20 combat width... Uh, guys, why did you abandon that post? Luckily, it doesn't look like anyone's trying to move into there, which is okay, but... Ooh, baby, well, I don't know why you did that. Good. And once this encirclement is complete, it would be time to move in. Very good. Very good. Your entire front is closing in. Nice. Looks like they might have a lack of supply issues. Very good, very good. A slight encirclement. And those guys are gone. And they're not even doing anything about it. Great. This was a nice encirclement, not gonna lie, this was pretty nice. What? I didn't tell you to move, what the heck? Not yet, you get your turn. Ah, there we go. Sporadic, sporadic, good, good. Good. Nice. Ooh, the Twisted Hairs are almost done now. Ah, casually encircling and destroying so many armies. One more encirclement, one more. Now, what can we do? We could probably go right here. Spearhead here, all the way up right there. It's not much, but after this, we should be able to really encircle them. I might even give them a part of Nevada. You know what? I might just release. Yeah, Desert Rangers. How about we release the Desert Rangers as a group? That could be a puppet under us. I think that sounds pretty smart. We could maybe even create the state of Nevada with them. Come on, come on, buddies. Spread the word, my friend. Spread the good word. Begin mining operations of the Mountains of the Divide. Are filled to the brim with metals and perhaps long lost technological marvels left behind by the military personnel during the Great War. So as such, we should establish mining operations in the mountains, and that just me makes it a no-brainer. Man, trying to read those foci and then actually trying to make it lo logical, I don't do very well at that, apparently. Uh, you can go there then. Probably avoid those guys if we want. And give him some force attack, no matter what happens. Cool. I'm actually going to send all but you there, and then you just go there too. Just help him out a little bit. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? I don't think so. Good. We're continually following that motorcycle and beating it up, which I like. Because this is, this is going to be really destructive to their army. Good, and you can let one guy hold. 
I said one. I said one guy, not all of you. Come on, man. Come on. What, what, what's your problem? Cool. This is pretty bad for these 80s. These numbers. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Just wiping them out. I mean, most of them are already dead. Oh, that hurt our line actually a little bit. But not as badly as their line. Cool. Let's reform the line. And then push to end this war. Look at primitive rod, yo. Get even better reinforce rate. Oh, man. I see it. Okay. Oh, man. If we do this, it's, it's complete. You know, just go that way if you can. You can encircle all these. There's actually not that many guys left down here. Give three, two, good enough, go. If we can get to city 318, that'd be so good. Let one of you guys come up here, maybe you, you'll probably get encircled by doing that, but whatever. Especially since they have motorcycles. Come on, 318, that's one. And we did it. Another encirclement. When we weren't even super trying. Great. Incinerators? Very good, very good. Even better incinerators. Mm, lovely. Would you look at that? We still made another encirclement. Oh, you guys go ahead too. I'm not sure where you're gonna go to, but whatever. Yeah, we're definitely gonna release uh, the Desert Rangers because I don't want to deal with all this resistance. Some of it's okay for me, but you know, I don't want to deal with all of it. How much will this cost a quarter? That's 11,000. Oh, 22,000, that's pretty good. 300 is quite a bit of political power. So how's the NCR doing? Trading with the Glow. Can they still do Boneyard? Yeah, they still can. We didn't go to war with them. Interesting path that they can take. Dissolve a council. Academy of War. Ignite Redding. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, I know there's some major resistance around here. And overall, we still have the manpower for it, so that's not bad. Begin mining operations. Good. Now let's do the establishment of fringe settlements. With ore and valuable technologies discovered, it is now time for us to begin investing into permanent settlements within our mountains to ensure around-the-clock mining operations within our mountains. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm going to actually going to go ahead and go to four-year conscription instead of coring more stuff at the current moment. Because, well, manpower is always nice. Did we kill off all their divisions? We we literally killed off all their divisions, guys. We've lost about a thousand. 1,500. We've killed off more than 19,000. I'd say that's pretty good. That's not too bad. But the next episode, we could go to war with the Phoenix Republic. I just don't know if they have anything else they can do. Because they would love to kill them off. But... Hmm, they're pretty strong. They're pretty darn strong. How strong are these guys? <clears throat> the jackals are next. Why? That's because once the 80s are gone, we release Desert Rangers. We want them to get the jackals. We want to get them to get the vipers. We'll give them new Reno, maybe even that as well. All right, we can tra transfer these guys over too. Very good. And the 80s are gone. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna satellite. The Desert Rangers. They get a lot of territory. Not bad. Hmm. I could puppet the rest of the 80s, actually. But they're already out of manpower. That wouldn't make too much sense. <sighs> or would it? You know what? We could probably puppet the 80s, then. Puppet the 80s to maybe make a Utah 80s? Because I don't want to... May have such bad border gore up here. That's not a bad idea. They can have all of you tell them. They could liberate them, but... Because I'm thinking we're probably going to need more divisions. Especially against the Phoenix Republic. Cool. Now, these guys are out of manpower. But, uh... Hopefully in time they'll get... Oh, they're not completely out of manpower. Oh, the Desert Rangers here, too. A little bit of manpower. Under Joseph Lank. Do we have a faction? We don't even have a faction. I hate that we can't even create our own faction sometimes. Do you really have this as a core? They have City 318 as a core. Huh. Do they have claims on my territory at all? I hope not. Good, they don't. So, next episode, we will be focused on smashing through the Jackals and then the Vipers and maybe a little bit of the Phoenix Republic. But, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, 
consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we have a great time against the Jackals, Vipers, and the rest of Nevada. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.